A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Elon Musk agrees to acquire Twitter for about $44 billion. As the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk has an enormous net worth and has committed $21 billion to Tesla. The company's stock is a prime target. Musk's agreement to acquire Twitter will likely require him to borrow against the value of Tesla's stock. However, he recently announced that he received commitments of $5 billion for the acquisition. Moreover, he stated that he had committed $21 billion in equity financing. Musk also said that he would explore a tender offer to buy the remaining shares of Twitter directly from Twitter's shareholders. Elon Musk wants to make Twitter a haven for free speech. The world's wealthiest man, Elon Musk, has reached an agreement to purchase the macro blogging platform for about billion. As the founder of Tesla, Elon Musk has been a frequent user of Twitter using it for his own promotions, attacking critics, and expressing his opinions on social issues. While Elon Musk has a strong following, many of his critics worry that Twitter's algorithm may suppress the voices of those who disagree with his policies and or his philosophies. As a free speech absolutist, Elon Musk has promised to reform Twitter. He wants to slush content restrictions and get rid of fake and automated accounts. He also wants to shift away from a revenue model that relies on advertising. He believes that by offering subscriptions, Twitter can attract more users and generate a larger revenue stream. However, he has been very cautious about deleting content and imposing permanent bans. So while it's hard to know exactly how much Musk could spend on a Twitter acquisition, Musk's stock is a huge portion of his wealth. If he were to pursue this acquisition without using Tesla stock, he would probably have to borrow against it to make the acquisition possible. Musk's financial commitments to Twitter will help him fund the acquisition, which is why he outlined financial commitments to make it possible. However, Musk said he's still exploring options to make the transaction more flexible, including a tender offer to purchase the shares directly from Twitter's existing shareholder C as Musk's stake in Tesla increases, so do the stake in Twitter. The company has more than 200 million users, which is a lot smaller than Facebook, but it's still growing and has many people in the public eye. Many political leaders, journalists, and intellectuals are active users of Twitter, but Musk's popularity in the microblogging site is greater than that of the average pop star. He wants to read it of fake accounts. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has proposed relaxing content restrictions and reading Twitter of fake accounts. He also wants to shift away from advertising as the primary revenue model. He hopes to grow revenue by allowing users to pay for subscriptions. Musk has criticized other companies for blocking content from Russia and has asked for more lax moderation on Twitter. Musk has also raised the question of the role of Twitter in shaping society. Despite his interest in eliminating Twitter spam bots, Musk has not made a solid plan to do so. The company has been battling disinformation and hate speech on the site but users are not pleased with the current situation. Many people are worried that a more hands-off approach to moderation will turn off advertisers and users. Musk's position is understandable given his influence as a CEO and investor. However, it's a tall order to eliminate spam bots on Twitter, especially if he's not addressing the issues. Musk's tweetstorm on Sunday included criticism of Twitter's moderation. While he dropped his original plan to join the Twitter board, he did offer some suggestions for the platform. One suggestion was to turn Twitter's headquarters into a homeless shelter. Another idea was to allow Twitter Blue subscribers to pay using Dogecoin instead of advertisements. But Elon Musk's tweetstorm has not stopped there. The billionaire CEO has also tweeted about a more radical way to deal with Twitter. Ultimately, the issue is a balance between free speech and the need to regulate the spread of fake accounts. If Twitter wants to remain a place for free speech, it should tighten its moderation policies. After all, this move could lead to a decrease in advertisers and corporate sponsors. So, Elon Musk should reconsider his tweet storm and focus on fixing Twitter's problem. However, the more he can fix the platform, the more likely he will get it. In his TED Talk, Musk also mentioned that he would like Twitter to make its algorithm open source, so that users can edit it. The idea sounds great, but Musk has not revealed any details. 
However, Musk's open source TweetStorm has drawn support from a lot of Twitter users. This would enable users to look at the algorithm and suggest changes if they find any mistakes. He also said that the algorithm should be open source, making it more transparent to users. It could alienate advertisers. The agreement between Elon Musk and Twitter to buy the microblogging site for billion could alienate advertisers. Twitter's content moderation policies have been lax in the past, putting ad dollars at risk. Brands are increasingly wary of risky content and may move their advertising dollars elsewhere. Musk has also been embroiled in battles with the Securities and Exchange Commission, and his more hands-off attitude could alienate advertisers and users. Recent tweets by Elon Musk have gotten him into trouble with federal authorities. Earlier this year, Musk claimed to have secured funding for taking Tesla private. Now, he is fighting an SEC subpoena in federal court. Furthermore, Musk failed to disclose his Twitter stake, which was 5%. However, this doesn't have any bearing on Musk's ability to buy a company. It could cost him billions of dollars. If Elon Musk's deal with Twitter is accepted, he could end up with a $43 billion company. But the deal could also make employees unhappy. The company's current board members are Brett Taylor and Perry Kackrall. Musk has repeatedly tweeted about changing the board, which could also be a sign that Twitter's management may not be happy with the deal. Ultimately, the decision will depend on whether Musk is willing to pay more. As a result of this potential takeover, Musk is likely to face a tough financial situation. The board of Twitter could be resistant to the deal, as Musk has indicated that he doesn't have the funding to finance it. Moreover, Musk has almost all his wealth in SpaceX and Tesla, so unlocking it would be difficult. It is unclear what his strategy is with Twitter. Many users are threatening to leave the social networking site if he gets control. In addition, to potentially costing Elon Musk billions of dollars, the agreement to purchase Twitter could also result in an increased amount of carbon emissions. In the U.S., 19% of transit vehicles and 6% of fixed guideway elements were in poor condition over a decade. By the year 2029, the backlog is projected to increase to $270 billion. By using the money that Twitter may receive from Elon Musk's Twitter deal, he could cut this backlog by at least a third. While Twitter has a large user base, it's been unable to turn it into profit. Musk is not on the hook for all of the money but the agreement could cost him billions. But his agreement is secured by his stake in Tesla and his personal life's work. If the deal fails, Musk could end up losing the shares that represent a majority of his fortune. While Musk has a point when he says Twitter should be private, his free speech concerns are valid. Musk has said the social network should be a free platform for all people, but Wisekim has explained why we need to be suspicious. But whether or not Musk restores former President Trump's account remains to be seen. It's unclear.